shopping for like a really cute little sexy black dress and you come home with an extra large pepperoni pizza. Hi, I'm Veronica with WatchMojo.com and today we're chatting with comedian Vanessa Hollingshead about her career and we even get to meet her protege. The way I see it is if Ernest Hemingway could write Old Man in the Seat completely shit-faced, <laughs> surely you could figure out how to do a spreadsheet and check a few emails with a light buzz on. You began your comedy career with just five minutes at an open mic night. What was it that made you get up on stage that night? Well, I waited for four and a half hours. I had my temp set when I was a temp. I brought people from my job, and it was four and a half hours. I was a nervous wreck, and I was just watching comedians back and forth. And finally, when it came on to me, I just remember thinking... That even Richard Pryor wouldn't be funny at this point. They wouldn't even find Richard Pryor funny. I got a little chuckle. But it was, there was something like just in the telling the story or doing it that I suddenly, like, I just felt I'm home. I, I'm home. This is what I was meant to be doing. But not everyone wants to try. So what was it that drew you to the scene? I used to temp and I used to, I had a roommate when I lived in Queens. She was like, did you ever think about doing stand-up comedy? I'm like, no, I'm, no, what are you crazy? I'm the, no, no, I'm an actress. I'm Shakespearean trained. I went to Lee Strasberg. No, I, no. And then I was reading a backstage about how they look for sit to make sitcoms, they use comedians. So I just thought, well, I could try, you know, I could try. I said, you know, I'll try it, all right? And um, again, I was like that fearless quality, let me just try. And um, then I had to try and get people to come. So you had, to, it was bringer shows. I only had so many friends. So I was actually going to 12 step groups and, you know, being like, I'm, you know, my name's Vanessa, I'm a compulsive overeater. Um, I'm doing comedy and, I think I could cut down on my food, you know, if I had a little bit of support, I'm going to gamble. I'm going to different anonymous groups, running my few minutes to try and get a laugh out of them and to get people to come, you know. Then I was paying my friends to come see me. I was temping. I was sleeping like two hours a night, um, living on coffee, watermelon, and nic cigarettes, and just trying to get my, just spending that whole year trying to get funny while I was doing, you know, temping all day. And then I would sleep in the bathroom stalls. And I just, I just couldn't look like this. It was meant to be. I'm just figuring out Facebook. Then they got Google Wave, like ride the wave. You gotta be invited. It's like the Studio 54 of social applications. I can't, it's getting so crazy. And then Google, everything is like Google, right? Google it. You can actually satellite you photographs of where you like photos of where you look. Actually, Googled myself and there was chain smoking naked. <laughs> Picture, what do you find inspires your sets most? I'd probably say like true to life stuff. I like to take really true things that have happened that have been horrible and make it funny. I love to drink. I, I mean, I love to drink. Matter of fact, my friends have tried so many interventions with me, I just leave the plastic folding chairs set up in a semicircle in my apartment. <laughs> like, I tried to get pregnant and that didn't work, so I was able to do a whole bit on, on infertility. Um, when my husband passed away, I said that he left me, no one knows, and I was able to do a bit on, like, drinking, alcoholism, drug addiction, chain smoking, uh, losing your mind in such a way that no one knew what had, what had happened and um, with my parents doing drugs my whole life and I was like the straight daughter, I was able to take their crazy life and turn it around and make it really funny. But I try and take everything that's truthful and find the humor um, in it. Jesus turned the water into wine. He didn't turn the wine into water. I think we've been crucified a lot earlier and they were already pissed off at him. <laughs> my friends are like, you're not Jesus. Like I can drink like him, maybe I'll get a vision. <laughs> Maybe you'll go, Vanessa, my child, I want you to walk amongst the lepers. And I'll be like, oh, Jesus, I don't want to move to Plattsburgh. <laughs> come here, come here. So, what, this is Sharon. Hi. She's my feature comedian. And we've been working together now for the last, what, four years? Four years, yeah. yeah. The truth is, I want you guys to know I found a husband. Yeah, he's not mine, but I found him. <laughs> well, thank God he's not mine. He cheats on his wife. When I first started doing comedy, a friend of mine said I should look for a female in New York who I wanted who I wanted to be like. And after seeing tons of comedy, I saw Vanessa on a roast for another comedian. And years later, I, I, I told him I want Vanessa to be my mentor. And years later, it just happened. And I'm trying to date, but are you dating? Are you trying? It's, it's 
rough, isn't it? Like finding people. I don't know where to go. Cause some places I go and I am sexy. Some places I go and I am not. <laughs> at a Playboy convention at best, I'm a four or a five. But at a Star Trek convention, I am a seven of nine. <laughs> and we became like so yes, close. Right. And I was high, strong, judgmental. You gotta do this. You gotta write. You gotta like get into the art form. And, and I'm Sharon like was drunk like, and hanging out drunk, with hanging the guys. Out. You gotta talk to the guy. No, I straight my no. And she'd be like, you know, just relax, loosen up a little bit. Make loosen, out. Make hang out. out. Hang out. I used to be a big girl. I lost about 50 pounds on Weight Watchers. Woo! <laughs> Because when I was a big girl, I had secret admirers. Men would have sex with me and say, let's keep this a secret. Wow. Well, thank you very much, ladies. It's really great having you. Thank, thank you. you. It's great. Thank it's you. great being in Maria. Yeah. So. <laughs>